What's happening? It's Shane here. So I realize that the title of this video is a little bit clickbaity, but for anybody who has tried to get the 4,000 hours of watch time that you need in order to get monetized, you know that the struggle is real. And most of the time when you click on a video like this, they'll tell you some BS about how you have to upload 17 times a week, or you need to make your thumbnails better, or your intros better, or make better content, or something like that that doesn't really help you. But I promise you this video is nothing like that, and I'm gonna show you a pretty much foolproof method that a bunch of people are using right now in order to get to 4,000 hours of watch time in a very short period of time. No BS, no gimmicks, just actionable advice. And as long as you watch it until the end and do everything that I say, you should be able to get 4,000 hours of watch time within about a month or so. And I'm making a few videos like this just to help you guys out, help my fellow YouTubers out, because I feel like we definitely have kind of like a small family, a small community here. We all comment on each other's videos and support each other, and I'm just trying to help you guys out. Because the YouTube algorithm is absolutely ruthless to small channels, and getting your videos promoted by the algorithm when you're a small channel is like pulling teeth. And so if your videos don't get promoted, you don't get any watch time, and it just gets harder. And a lot of the time, your thumbnails are awesome, your content's awesome, everything you're doing is perfect, but the algorithm just decides to not promote your videos for whatever reason. So the big secret is, drum roll please, 24 seven live streams. But not just any type of 24 seven live stream, there's a very particular way that you have to do it. I'm gonna tell you guys what I did and what a couple other people have done in order to make this as successful as possible. Now this does cost a little bit of money, there is a little bit of upfront cost, but you only have to buy the service for about a month and then you can cancel it. And as a bonus, I'm gonna show you the cheapest services to do this on, the ones that I've done tons of research and tested a bunch of different services on, and I'm gonna share those with you guys for completely free. So if you've been following my channel the last few months, you might have noticed that I was live streaming lately. And right now I have about five and a half thousand uh, watch time hours. And you need 4,000 in order to get monetized, so I'm now monetized as of a few weeks ago, and I've earned $81. And just a few months ago, I was at a thousand hours of watch time, and that was after several months of consistently uploading content, my videos just were not getting pushed and each one of them was getting maybe 10 hours of watch time, which was not enough. Then I did this method and you can see right here, my watch time spiked like crazy, got lots and lots of it and I got to 4,000 hours within a short amount of time. So let's talk about the video that I made, the live stream that I made that got all of this watch time. So unfortunately, YouTube deletes live stream videos after about a week or so, so I can't show you the exact video, but it was called Money Guru Research, and it was basically me just going through different channels on YouTube that I consider to be gurus possibly maybe even fake gurus and just going through these channels and just talking about what they're doing that's a little bit scammy. So for instance, there was one channel I went to that was this guy who talks about like manifesting money. He's kind of like a hippie guy. He talks about manifesting, you know, oh, you just have to believe and you know, and that's all and money will just come to you. You don't have to actually do anything, which I think personally is a little bit ridiculous. Don't get me wrong. The power of belief and the power of the mind is strong, but it's like 10 or 20% of the equation you do actually have to do things in real life in order to receive that money, in my opinion. You have to actually create a product that solves a problem that people would like to buy or create some kind of service, but that's a topic for a different video. Anyways, I went to this guy's product page where he's selling a $997 product and it kept on popping up in the left-hand corner like, oh, Lisa just bought the product. Jim just bought the product from Vancouver, Washington. Uh, John just bought the product from Los Angeles, California. Uh, Tina just brought the product from Australia. And like every 15 seconds or something, it would pop up in the bottom left-hand corner. And so I checked that out and turns out there's a setting on the software to basically say fake people's names bought the product and that creates social proof and gets you to consider buying their $997 course. And I calculated on the video just how ridiculous that is. 
because every 15, 30 seconds this was popping up. So this person would be making like $100 million a year. It's a thousand dollar course every 15 seconds, do the math, it's like 100 million a year. And so of course it was fake and it wasn't real, but I went to the actual product uh, review and I just confirmed that there's a setting on the product where you can actually make it say fake statistics, which is I think is very scammy. And yeah, so anyways, the whole video, I just went over scammy stuff like that. And it got a lot of viewers because there's kind of a big trend right now on YouTube of people going over fake gurus. There's a lot of channels popping up of people reviewing fake gurus. And I think it's a really good thing because there are a lot of fake gurus um, in the make money online, personal finance, etc., investing niche. So I really do think this is a great thing and it's gonna be overall a net positive for the niche and the community as a whole. And so I made an hour and a half video where I just went around just looking at different channels that I thought were a little bit scammy. Then I uploaded the video to YouTube as a live stream and started live streaming it and I put it on a loop and I live streamed it for about a month. During this month, I got over 3000 hours of watch time from people just randomly clicking on the video. I didn't optimize this video. I didn't even upload a thumbnail or anything. I didn't do any tags, no thumbnail, no really good title or enticing title. No, I don't even think I did a description or anything. I just uploaded the video. Uh, and I put money guru research and I got 3000 hours of watch time and I just let it run over and over and over again. Now, here's the thing. You have to have particular software in order to make this happen. So I'm gonna talk about the exact software I use to make the video and you don't have to use this but I kind of just recommend use the ones that I talk about just cause it's what I did and I recommend you do that. So first of all, you can use any screen recording software, but the one I use was ScreenFlow. I recorded my screen on ScreenFlow and I just went over, you know, the, the gurus, joked about it a little bit and a lot of people thought it was pretty funny and they watched my videos. And then I uploaded that hour and a half screen recording onto OBS Studios. I did not edit it at all. There was zero editing. Did not edit it at all. It seemed like it was in live time. And I used this program, OBS Studios, in order to uh, stream the video. And I believe this is either completely free or there's a 30 day free trial. So I don't think that you actually have to pay anything to use OBS Studios. If you do go there and they make you pay, I'm really sorry, but I don't think it's that expensive if they do. I'm pretty sure I got in on the free trial. I, I'm definitely not paying for it now. And then ScreenFlow does cost some, but again, you can also get a free trial. And then there's other screen recording software that is completely free that you can also use. Okay, so I used OBS Studios. It's a very simple process. There's tons of videos on YouTube that will show you exactly how to live stream on YouTube using OBS. But basically you just drop your video file in there, you set it to loop 24 seven, and then you have to put in a little key code on YouTube into your OBS Studios uh, software. And that kind of links YouTube to OBS and then it just live streams on YouTube for a long, long time. Now, you can do it just from your computer, but the problem is, is you have to leave your computer on if you do that. And you probably don't want your computer running 24 seven, but if you have an extra laptop, that is an option, you can just leave it on. I didn't wanna do that because I just think that the laptop would eventually crash and then I'd just have to restart it. But that is an option if you don't have access to what I'm going to talk about next. You don't necessarily have to run it 24 seven, but I do recommend doing 24 seven because you'll rank number one for the title keyword the longer that it runs. And the moment you turn it off, your ranking goes away. So if a bunch of people upload videos on that keyword, unfortunately you'll lose your ranking. So that's why I recommend doing the 24 seven live stream, but if you just have a laptop, you don't wanna spend any extra money, you can definitely just leave it running on an external laptop that you never use, maybe your old laptop that's in storage, something along those lines. Just know that if your internet goes down, your live stream will end, or if something happens to the laptop, if it restarts, 
or something along those lines, your live stream will end. Now, before I get into the software that I used, which was paid, I just wanna say that as a bonus, I'm gonna include a few tips and tricks to get your live stream to do even better, to get more viewers and more people attracted to it. And I'm gonna talk about that after I tell you exactly how to set up your live stream using this service. So the software and the service that I'm talking about is Obubble. And basically what this is, is a virtual private network and it's a dedicated server on demand. Now there's tons of products out there that are very similar to this, but the reason that I used Obubble is because live streaming 24 seven takes up a lot of bandwidth. And if it drops even one time, your live stream might end. And when your live stream ends, you'll lose your ranking and you don't want that to happen. So I did a ton of research and I looked up all kinds of different ones and this is the best one. This is the one that the PewDiePie versus T-Series guy that had like 100,000 people viewing the live stream uh, when they were counting down like, you know, when T-Series was gonna pass PewDiePie and subscribers that's what they used. And if they lost that ranking, it would have been horrible because they were ranking number one on a keyword that was getting a ton of views. And this is the software that those guys used and they ended up getting probably hundreds of thousands of subscribers by jumping on that trend and then doing a 24 seven live stream. Talk about watch time. They probably got 4,000 hours of watch time every five minutes. So basically you set up Obubble. It's very, very easy to use. I think it took about two days for them to set it up for me. And then I believe they already had OBS studios automatically downloaded into the virtual private server. And I just had to log in and then drop my screen flow recording into that, set it up, which takes like five minutes and bam, I was live streaming on YouTube and it never once dropped, it never had a single issue. Now, the plan that I used with Obubble was the uh, 1080p streaming plan and it was about $50. So it is a little bit costly, but like I said, it only took me one month to get the 3000 hours of watch time. And honestly, I think it was less. It was like three weeks or something like that. So it's definitely worth it to pay for the one month plan. And at some point in the future, they might have, you know, try it for the month sort of thing going on. So just look out for that. But yeah, I'm, I'm not an affiliate for them or anything like that. So, you know, don't spam me in the comments saying, oh, you're trying to sell their, their product. It's just a really, really good product. It's well worth the $50 a month. And this will help you so much getting to 4,000 hours of watch time. If you don't use this, it'll probably take you like a year to get there. Okay, so as promised, I'm gonna go over a few bonus tips on how to get more viewers to your stream. And these are things like, I made a few mistakes and there's a few things I would have done differently. I probably could have gotten to 4,000 hours of watch time in a week if I did a few things differently. So just pay attention here. And I think these tips are really gonna help you out. So first of all, you want to go to Creator Studio Classic. For some reason, it's just much easier to set up the live stream in Creator Studio Classic. I'm not sure why they did this, but hopefully uh, by the time you watch this video, hopefully they haven't taken it away. It still should be around for a while, but I'm sure they're gonna fix it, but it's just really hard to set up a live stream without being in Creator Studio Classic. I'm sure there's a way, and I'm sure someone's gonna figure out how to do it and upload a video. But for now, let's just go ahead and do this. Okay, so I clicked on the live streaming tab, and what you wanna do is put in a full description just like you're uploading a video. I didn't do this, and it was a huge mistake. So just like you're uploading a video, put in a full description that has all the keywords that are related to the live stream. This is gonna be very, very good and it's gonna help you rank number one. It's gonna get you a lot more viewers, okay? Do a fully optimized title as well. I didn't do this and I think I would have gotten a lot more viewers if I did it in the first place. So upload the video just like as if you were uploading a normal video with the optimized title. You've got, you did your SEO research, you made sure it's a title that a lot of people are searching for because the awesome thing about live streaming is you can rank number one above channels that have like a million subscribers just by using that one keyword, YouTube favors live streams. Okay, another thing is, is you want to use normal latency because it's gonna make your live stream look better. You want to leave DVR off. 
do not turn DVR on because then viewers can skip around in your video and I've found that they stay on your video a lot longer when they can't skip around. Leave delay off as well. Now, the next thing is you want to go to live control room and then once you're in live control room, you can actually upload a custom thumbnail and you kind of want to make the thumbnail look like it's live because it is a live stream. You don't want to make it look like all your other videos but at the same time, you do want to make the thumbnail look better than just your average live stream thumbnail because people are much more likely to click on it. Now you want to go down to the bottom on the webcam settings and you want to click on advanced settings. You definitely want to have chat on, okay? You want to have allow chat on. And like I mentioned before, you want to fill out your description with good uh, keywords. And then one other thing I want to say really quickly, and it's not going to let me show this unless I do an actual live stream and I'm recording my screen right now. So so I don't think my computer will be able to do both at once. But once you're in the live stream, there's advanced settings at the very bottom and it's gonna be kind of in the description area. But go to those advanced settings and it's gonna have a little area for you to put tags in. And you definitely wanna tag your live streams. 99% of people do not tag their live streams. So it will give you a huge advantage. And then the only other thing is, is you don't want people to be able to see how long your video goes. You want it to just seem like it's just going normally so they can't go back and they can't go forward. And I believe that's the one setting that says they can't loop back for 12 hours, but just make sure that people can't see that. Okay, so my computer almost crashed because I was kind of like live streaming and doing this video at once. But yeah, basically uh, just make sure that they can't go back and forward in your video. You will get tons of traffic if you do this and you will get to 4,000 hours of watch time in a very short period of time, as long as you're targeting a keyword that enough people are searching. So another thing I could have done on my channel if I didn't wanna do like the fake guru thing is checking out stocks, stock research or something like that. So let's go to YouTube. Okay, so here's a keyword, stocks to buy um, or stocks to buy now. If I made my video stocks to buy now, there'd be 27,100 people researching searching that every single month and that's pretty good. You know, anything that basically pops up here and it makes sense to put on a live stream as the live stream's title would be good because you will probably within a few days rank as number one for whatever this is, stocks to buy now. And then a ton of people, thousands and thousands of people will view your video and you'll get a ton of watch time. So I've been sharing a ton of content like this. I try to be as transparent as possible on this channel. I've been sharing a lot of content that goes over how to grow as a small YouTuber. And I'm just trying to kind of share my journey with you guys uh, just to make it easier on you. So go ahead and check out my other videos here. Hit the like button smash the subscribe button, uh, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any ideas you have for future videos or any opinions that you have on this video. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.